Hi guys, welcome to my filmmaking tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about making video content, the things that go into the process, but mainly about getting started creating in the first place. Uh, just a disclaimer as well before we get going, please don't take everything I say as gospel. This is just stuff I've learned from my own experience through trial and error, and it's important for you to find your own process and what works best for you. So now that we've gone into that, let's get into the tutorial. So you want to make films, what's the next step? Really there are two different ways you can go about this. The first is you go out, film everything, gather all your footage, and then when you come back, you sit down and edit and you decide on the story then. So for example, you could go out for a bike ride with your friends, film loads of it, and then when you come back, add narration over the top and turn it into a vlog, or maybe even a little mini documentary about a day that you had out. Or you could put music over the top and turn that into a music video. The second way of making films is you would plan everything beforehand. So you'd start with an idea, then you'd write a script, you'd think about the characters within that, you'd think about location, you'd have a shot list, you'd think about what equipment you're going to use. You'd probably even have a mood board, which would have different references of maybe films, music videos, or whatever it is that's inspired you in that project with the overall style of what you want to emulate. So basically what you're doing there is you're making sure that you have such a clear idea of what it is you want to achieve before you've even set foot on set. And those are the two main ways of filmmaking. There's not necessarily one way that's better than the other. There's not a right or wrong answer to this. It just depends on what your end goal is. So, if you want to create a specific style using certain shots that are difficult to pull off in one take, you know, at a certain location, at an exact time of day, then yeah, it's going to be better for you to plan all of that beforehand, before you even get there on location or on set. But if not, if you're unsure about those things and you want to stay open and free, maybe the best thing to do is to just show up with your camera, film, and allow the story to take you in whatever direction it wants to. But I don't have a camera. How am I going to be able to film anything? Well, what you probably do have, or at least have access to, is a phone. And most phones have cameras, and the cameras that they do have are pretty decent at the moment. In fact, there was a film shot in 2018 called Unsafe, and it was filmed entirely on an iPhone. Uh, you can also get apps to help control the settings manually, and other apps to help edit your footage. So this is going to be the perfect starting device for you to start making films with. I'm actually doing some tutorials coming up about how to make films entirely just on your phone. So, or maybe someone you know has an old film camera. The music video In My Feelings by Drake actually uses 8mm footage to give it that nostalgic style and look to it. That's something that you could incorporate into your films. Maybe you want to make something that looks like it's shot in the 80s. If you have that at your disposal, then you could use that. Or maybe someone you know has a digital camcorder you could create an entire film with that. I mean, there are films that exist just like that, such as 28 Days Later by Danny Boyle, or The Blair Witch Project. Or maybe you have access to a webcam. There are films like Searching, which if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's a brilliant film. And that is shot almost entirely on a webcam. You can use it to your advantage and make it part of the story. It doesn't really matter what the equipment is that you use or how expensive it is. What matters is the story that you're telling. But the focus on the story rather than the equipment, constraints can be a great way to help with your creativity. Say you have just this room to film in with these people and I've got this phone but we can't film each other so we're just gonna prop it up here and we can film at this time of day at this particular time of year already you can start to pull a story out of that. By giving yourself those limitations, you're kind of building a story already for yourself. So use that to your full advantage. My footage looks bad. Well, firstly, what's good and what's bad is subjective. It depends on the person viewing it. Most of the videos that we watch are on phones and they're things from Instagram or TikTok and they get millions of views. So it doesn't really matter what the quality is like. It's more about the story. Focus on the story and the rest will come. Don't worry about how good you are now. Just know that with the more you practice, the better you're going to get. How do I get ideas for films? Well, that's something we're going to discuss in the next video. We're going to go in depth about creating ideas, how to stay creative and in that mindset, and how to develop them further. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll make sure I get back to you. Otherwise, check out my future videos on ideas and how to get them, filmmaking with your phone, and editing with your phone. Those are all coming very soon.